In this video, you will learn to generate samples of a complex Gaussian random variable x. A complex Gaussian random variable x is a bivariate Gaussian random variable composed of two independent real Gaussian random variables xr and xi. Let xr random variable has the mean mu i and variance sigma square by 2. And random variable xi has the mean mu i and variance sigma square by 2. Then the mean of random variable x will be mu is equal to mu r plus j mu i and its variance will be sigma square by 2 plus sigma square by 2 is equal to sigma square. The complex Gaussian random variable is represented using the scripted letters c and n as shown here. It can be seen that the samples of random variable x can be generated by first generating the samples of two real valued random variables and then joining them using the imaginary symbol j. In our earlier videos, we have already discussed the process of generating the samples of a generic real valued Gaussian random variable in MATLAB. You can find the link of those videos in the description. If you have not already watched those videos, it is strongly recommended that you watch those videos first. Let's move forward. So, a column vector containing n samples of a random variable xr can be generated in MATLAB by using this command. Similarly, n samples of a random variable xi can be generated by using this command. Now, the samples of a random variable x can be generated in MATLAB using the command given here. After simple algebraic manipulations, we get a final command to generate the samples of a complex Gaussian random variable with mean mu and variance sigma square. And here is the command to generate samples of a zero mean complex Gaussian random variable with variance sigma square. Finally, the samples of a complex Gaussian random variable with mean zero and variance one can be generated by using this command. Let's now take a couple of examples. Let's generate 1 million samples of a complex Gaussian random variable with mean 0 and variance 1 in MATLAB. Let's check the mean and the variance of x. You can see that the mean is nearly equal to 0 and variance is equal to 1 as desired. Now let's generate 1 million samples of a complex Gaussian random variable with mean 0 and variance 3. As variance is equal to 3, so sigma will be equal to square root of variance. Now let's generate the samples. Now let's check the mean and variance of x. You can see that the mean and variance nearly matches 0 and 3 respectively. So we have reached to the end of this video. Hope that you found this video useful. We will come up with more interesting and useful videos in the future. To stay connected with us, please subscribe to our channel. We will meet again soon with a new video. Goodbye until then.